We're broadcasting from the Concrete Jungle Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals. Know what's beautiful about this city, Bricks? I don't know, Grim County. I don't know either. That's, that's why I was asking you guys. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Cincinnati Bengals. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside and attacks the king. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. First down in inches. They call the war speed dirty finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Well, fee, five, fo, fum. I... We're not finishing that joke, Grim. The only low hanging fruit is on that ginormous mutant, if you know what I mean. I scared on Silla. I will hear what I'll sell him. Second down and long. right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> Third down and a sliver. And the defense was reading him like a bullet. Oh, with a brutal hit. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. And 
a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roid Rage would win. And he sinks into the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. First down and one. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And that'll bring up second and one. Third and four. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. And I think he's warming down his guy to the speed feed grip. He's running from his team, it's clear. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Break tackles. He takes a look. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. Yeah, man. I was here. We're going to get him now. You know what happened? <laughs> and it's first and ten. They could not connect on that play. Second down and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim.
And that'll be second. To Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And that'll bring up second and one. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh man, he really worked. In fact, my friends, was an all pro MFL hit. Second down and two. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. That's really cool. Oh, with a brutal hit. Whoa, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First and four. And that's another pick. Randall. You can't keep a good mutant. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? point attempt it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five And it's first and ten. <laughs> second down and more than the QB would like. And this game is up for grabs. Second down in a very lot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? First down and nine. Second down and a lot. They get their hands up and block a pass.
Third down and the punter is warming up. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And it's good! Bring it, bring it. You know, when, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down and long. And they call it ginormous dirty trick. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this cue. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. to the races. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And man, he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcrim. First and two. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, okay. then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Pick up, get on out, get on Second down and five. 
And he breaks away. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Third and four. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no... I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. A field goal attempt here makes perfect sense. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And the quarterback throws another pit. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what if interceptions kind of... Oh, he just got crushed. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Hell no, son And it's first and ten. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And need to get his mother. Second down and ten. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Third and four. And with another pick, the QB says, I do boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the other. The ball's turned over, and the defense has it. He's rumbling toward the end zone to score a clusterfuck. Will he make it? Run, Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. 
The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And that's another turnover for the defense. Whoa, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Ten-yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here, he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. Second down. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's Bleak Bricks. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. That pass was good for 10 yards. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. Hey, man, he comes to get him now. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the key. Oh, nice hit! <laughs> and it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new? Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. <laughs> First and ten. Now, 
I've had. I I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Down pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, uh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get, uh, get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. And there's another. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost so Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. First and ten. And another interception. This quarterback. Oh, with the punishing hit. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the fake punt. If you can't trust a punter, who can you trust? Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. <laughs> And it's 
First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and more. Look out. That's an all-out attack on the QB. He's a <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Wow, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. <laughs> the offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. And a pow with the brain scrambler. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. First and goal. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and four. Put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Nicely done. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. That's a beautiful pass for the conversion. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabbit roided out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolves. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he's running like he could go all the way. Somebody get that guy a beer because he just saved me a thousand bucks. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everything. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> First and ten. Huh? 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 Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. Second down in a very lot. Huh? Huh? Great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Briggs. Very smart. I don't know whose eyes they... Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? And it's 
It's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. It looks like we've got a penalty here. First down and six. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. With kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Welcome to McRoyd Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm taking a double Roy burger, large Roy fries, and a big Roy gulp. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm just going to rip your head off and get out of here. That's about it. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Nice pickup for six yards. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and... The Mangos strangle the opposition and win by forfeit. Oh, that is some bloody mess they left on the field. Looks good. I'm hungry. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. Or was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...